For me, great architecture is like great fashion. While the most daring and outrageous designs might look fantastic on the drawing board or catwalk, there's no way I could ever pull them off in a regular street. But this next building has done exactly that. This is the Rosalie Sharp Center for Design, a tall story made real by extraordinary engineering. 100,000 square feet of new college extension balanced on 12 90-foot stilts, all hovering over the delicate old school. So, how did they build it? Canada's oldest educational institution for art and design, the OCAD University. It's the year 2000, and now with almost 2,500 art students registered here, the site is busting at the seams. Another 100,000 square feet of space is needed. Faced with no easy answers, the college knows it's going to need a radical approach. They find it in the unconventional mind of architect Will Alsop. He can't build outwards, and he can't build upwards without blocking views. But Will Alsop finds a solution with a characteristic flash of inspiration. The huge two-story tall rectangular box will float 50 feet above the old college building and 85 feet above the pavement. Its main support will be a concrete core that will also take all the plumbing, wiring, elevators, and stairs. But this will still leave the 275 foot long structure precariously balanced. So six pairs of 90 foot long steel legs will be added in strategic positions to support its massive weight. The first challenge is how they're going to build the 1300 ton steel frame above the old, but still active, university building. In summer 2002, they begin work on the central concrete core. At the height where the frame for the structure begins, they bolt on a girder. This is where they'll attach the first steel columns. The clock is ticking, so they decide to speed up the build by prefabricating the steel structure in a factory off-site. Roads are closed to traffic and cleared of obstacles so that the trucks can maneuver the 90-foot-long columns along the tight route into the site. As each column arrives on site, it's hoisted into position and fixed. Once there, they need to bolt each of the legs into place on a system of foundations engineered to withstand an earthquake. The next challenge the engineers have to overcome is Mother Nature herself. Toronto is one of Canada's windiest cities with regular gusts of over 50 miles per hour. To prevent metal fatigue and even structural failure caused by the constant pounding of the wind, the team engineers the building to move a little, absorbing some of the force. It takes a year, but in October 2004, they unveiled the hotly anticipated new university building. The university has its extra 100,000 square feet of space for art studios, classrooms, exhibitions, and offices. And it has it in style. The award-winning building may have divided opinion, but it is unforgettable and has put the university on the map. 